Welcome to Vision of China. Amidst U.S. technological restrictions, China's domestic chip manufacturing industry is striving to break the Western technological monopoly. SMIC, the largest foundry in China, recently opened a new facility in Beijing and has actively integrated domestically produced semiconductor equipment into its production lines. This shift away from U.S. technology is sweeping across China, with SMIC leading a group of semiconductor equipment manufacturers in overcoming the technological gap. This semiconductor competition is intensifying, with numerous Chinese companies joining this significant battle. Huawei, a global leader in ICT infrastructure and smart devices, has made significant strides in chip manufacturing despite facing numerous challenges from competitors and trade restrictions. Huawei plans to resume the production of high-end mobile system chips in 2023. This video will explore how Huawei has broken through chip manufacturing barriers to become a key player in the industry. Huawei has collaborated with SMIC to develop an advanced 7 nanometer processor for its latest flagship smartphone. The 7 nanometers chip manufacturing process is complex and has a high defect density. However, Huawei is willing to invest substantial funds to improve production yield, aiming for a yield rate of around 50%. Huawei and SMIC are working closely to reduce defect density and increase output. Since 2020, Huawei and SMIC have been blacklisted by the U.S. government, restricting their access to advanced manufacturing tools and technologies. Despite these restrictions, Huawei has utilized SMIC's second-generation 7 nanometers manufacturing process to produce an advanced chip. The Kirin 9000S system chip in Huawei's new Mate 60 Pro smartphone is the result of this breakthrough and is rumored to be manufactured using SMIC 7 nanometers process. Founded in 1987, Huawei has grown from a small telephone switch manufacturer to one of the world's largest telecommunications equipment producers and one of the largest smartphone manufacturers. In 2019, the U.S. imposed sanctions on Huawei, limiting its access to critical American technologies. Despite this, Huawei demonstrated remarkable resilience and achieved significant recovery by increasing reliance on domestic suppliers, establishing its own app ecosystem, and focusing on developing its own software solutions, regaining market share. In the digital age, chips play a crucial role in driving technological advancement and enabling the digital world. Semiconductors follow Moore's law, doubling the number of transistors on integrated circuits approximately every two years. This trend has enabled small devices like smartphones to have computing power far exceeding that of large mainframes from the past and has fueled the development of computing-intensive technologies such as machine learning, cloud computing, and autonomous driving. The global semiconductor market is expected to expand at a compound annual growth rate of 10% from 2021 to 2026. As electronic devices continue to advance, the demand for chips is steadily increasing. Emerging markets such as wearable devices, home automation, autonomous vehicles, augmented reality, and AI-driven services will require a significant number of chips. Huawei faces several challenges in entering the chip manufacturing field. Firstly, there are technical challenges, as the process of manufacturing advanced chips like 7 nanometers chips is complex and has a high defect density. Secondly, trade restrictions have blacklisted Huawei and SMIC since 2020, limiting their access to advanced manufacturing tools and technologies. Furthermore, supply chain disruptions caused by trade and export bans have led to revenue declines for Huawei in recent years prompting diversification in product focus and chip suppliers. Additionally, the market dominance of Intel and AMD makes it difficult for Huawei to establish itself. Huawei has employed various strategies, investments, and innovations to succeed in chip manufacturing. Firstly, Huawei has made strategic moves to integrate the semiconductor supply chain and expand its presence in key areas such as lithography technology. Secondly, Huawei has reportedly invested $67 billion in its chip and mobile business, acquiring multiple companies through its venture capital arm. Lastly, Huawei has developed advanced chips using the 14 nanometers manufacturing process, such as the Kirin 710A, and showcased the success of its supply chain integration in the Mate 60 Pro smartphone. 
One of Huawei's significant breakthroughs in chip manufacturing is the development of the Kirin 9000S system chip using SMIC 7 nanometers process. This advanced chip was produced despite US sanctions, a remarkable feat Huawei's experience has also inspired other Chinese tech companies, supporting China's efforts toward chip self-sufficiency. The latest SMIC Beijing project indicates that SMIC has moved from research to near commercialization. The new production line uses domestic equipment from mainland manufacturers such as Nora, AMEC, and ACM Research, based in Shanghai. SMIC's current chairman, Lu Xuanfeng, supported by the National Integrated Circuit Industry Investment Fund, joined the board in 2023. China's semiconductor industry's actions respond to US, Japanese, and Dutch technology export restrictions, which, while weakening China's ability to manufacture high-end chips, have accelerated the domestic industry's development. According to Semi, global semiconductor equipment purchases declined last year, except in China, which accounted for one-third of global sales. Market research firm Gafkel Research estimates that China's new semiconductor production capacity this year will surpass the rest of the world combined, although China imports mostly mature process chip equipment. In May, China established the third phase of the National Integrated Circuit Industry Investment Fund, valued at approximately $48 billion, close to the combined total of the first two phases. Currently, SMIC still uses many foreign-made tools, and experts say that China has a long way to go to achieve self-sufficiency in producing high-end chips. An insider noted that SMIC can now produce 28 nanometers chips, and as former TSMC executive and former SMIC independent director Yang Guanglai said, blocking China's semiconductor equipment and technology will force the sleeping lion to wake up. Reports indicate that SMIC, China's largest foundry, is supported by the National Integrated Circuit Industry Investment Fund. Current chairman Liu Xuanfeng joined the board in 2023 on the fund's recommendation, having previously held senior positions in state-owned enterprises. Despite being blacklisted by the U.S. government, Huawei and SMIC have made significant progress in chip manufacturing. Huawei collaborated with SMIC to develop the advanced Kirin 9000S system chip using its second-generation 7 nanometers process, used in the new Mate 60 Pro smartphone. Huawei's success lies not only in its technological breakthroughs, but also in its resilience and innovation in overcoming challenges. Huawei's strategies, investments, and innovations in chip manufacturing have secured its position in the global semiconductor market. Its strategic moves, substantial investments, and technological innovations have not only strengthened its competitiveness but also advanced China's self-sufficiency in the semiconductor sector. Huawei's success provides valuable lessons for other Chinese tech companies, promoting the overall development of the industry. In the digital age, Chips play a vital role in driving technological advancement and enabling the digital world. Semiconductors follow Moore's law, doubling the number of transistors on integrated circuits approximately every two years. This trend has allowed small devices like smartphones to possess computing power far exceeding that of large mainframes from the past and has fueled the development of computing-intensive technologies such as machine learning, cloud computing, and autonomous driving. The global semiconductor market is projected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 10% from 2021 to 2026. As electronic devices continue to advance, the demand for chips is steadily increasing. Emerging markets such as wearable devices, home automation, autonomous vehicles, augmented reality, and AI-driven services will require a significant number of chips. Despite numerous challenges, Huawei's breakthroughs in chip manufacturing demonstrate its strong technical capabilities and innovative spirit. Through its collaboration with SMIC, Huawei successfully developed the advanced Kirin 9000S system chip, showcasing its competitive edge in technology and market presence. Huawei's breakthroughs in chip manufacturing not only highlight its resilience and innovation in adversity, but also underscore China's determination to pursue technological sovereignty. In the increasingly competitive global semiconductor market, Huawei's success provides valuable insights for other Chinese tech companies, driving the overall progress of China's semiconductor industry. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.